experiments here. So I've been planning to turn my microscope into a polarized light microscope for a long time. In fact, even when I built the lighting system, I added a built-in polarizer filter. However, as you can see, when you turn it, it turns black. There's a polarizer filter in there. However, you also need a polarizer filter up here. And originally, I was going to use them on each eye cap. However, my original plan has been foiled since my source of polarizer filters, 3D glasses, all movies are shut down in my city because we're on Corona lockdown. Um, I was going to go like see a 3D movie like Cats 3D or something. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to use these ones from old electronics. And when you add them to the top of here, it's just too big and clumsy. I was going to add one to each eyepiece. But it's just too big and clumsy. I, so anyway, I'm going to have to add it. The polarizer filter in here. Now to disassemble this thing, which is the head of the microscope. Right here is the internals, and this is going to be a pretty good place to add one of the polarizer filters. We will only need one since this outlet leads to both eyepieces. I think I'm going to pick this one right here. It's going to be taped into this position. Uh, and I'm going to clean it with some alcohol first, though. You can see this is the point where it goes black. So I'm going to want to tape it on, like, there. If this was facing... There we go. If this is facing frontward, I'm going to want it like that. As you can see, some tape. I didn't glue it because I want it to be reversible in case this sucks and it doesn't work very good i want to be able to easily undo it since i've never tried a polarization filter down here before i always put them up here in the eyepiece you can see these nylon fibers um the background is largely black because the two polarizer filters work together to block out the majority of light i'm gonna check it out at higher magnifications As you can see, the background is black, but the nylon fibers, which are blue, appear, appear as blue. So anyway, yeah, this is one method of dark field illumination microscopy, which causes specimens to appear brighter on a dark background. The reason you would want to increase contrast in a specimen, this can also be seen with most specimens, such as pine female. However, the effect can be less pronounced, which is why I'm going to modify this lighting system to be even brighter than it is right now. What works better than modding is putting the polarization filter on top of these eyepieces. However, we've got a problem with that. And the problem is that these eyepieces... Why is it not showing anything? Oh, there it is. The problem is that these eyepieces, um, the polarization filters that I scrapped from old electronics, you can't cut them down, and meaning that when you put one on each of these eyepieces, they just like collide, and it's impossible to stick your nose. There's no th place for your nose in between, so, uh, yeah. I had to put the polarization filter down in here, temporarily. When movie theaters open back up, I'm going to get polarization filters from 3D glasses, which I can cut down and JB weld onto the tips of these. But for now, I'm just going to have to have this polarizer. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.